Happy Wednesday, guys. Today, we're working on that uh, kipping pull-up. Um, this is a great way to, uh, a great exercise to work on not only your kipping pull-up, but also some shoulder mobility, getting better awareness of your body, your core, getting that stronger, and also working on your upper body strength. So, not necessarily just trying to get the skill, but there's also a bunch of benefits beside that. So, if you're working on getting better shoulder mobility, or getting better strength in your upper body or core strength, this is a great exercise um, to work up to. So I'm gonna divide it up into its pieces. We're gonna start off with some kip swing work, so five kip swings to start off with. Then the next movement is three to five kip swings out of a pull-up. So if you don't have a pull-up quite yet, um, I'd put one foot on a box and then one foot kind of hanging down on the side while your hands are on that bar. So you can use the box to your advantage um, to hold your weight up. And then all you wanna do is pull yourself up, use your one leg off the box to pull yourself up. And then as you come out of that pull up, I want you to push away from the bar and then go into a couple of kip swings while one foot is on the box and one foot is beside it, uh, kind of acting like as if you were doing a, a kip swing. Uh, this is a great way to work on pushing out of that swing and making sure you're hitting those right positions. With the kip swings today, really focus on creating angles with, or sorry, arches with your body rather than angles. If we create any angles with our body, we're going to lose power. We're going to lose that uh, control over our movement. If we keep nice arches across our body, so think of uh, avoid doing angles like at the hips instead of kind of here, try to make your body kind of in a C shape um, so that it's a nice curve that will help you generate a lot of force to pull yourself up. So that's the idea with the kip swings overall. Then we have a nice little complex at the end and I want you to adjust this based on your progression. Doing two kip swings, then two half kipping pull-ups. So just pulling halfway and then two kipping pull-ups all the way up. Use bands if you need to. Um, if this is too easy, feel free to go, let's say, two kip swings, two kipping pull-ups, two chest to bars. Or even go more if you want to add a bar muscle up in there. Once you're done three rounds of that, you're going to go three rounds of core work. So we're going to finish that off with 25 second hollow, 25 second arch, and then one set of max strict pull-ups. Use the rings or use the bar. You can do as many as you can for only one set, and then you're done the gymnastics. Then we're gonna go into our workout. We got two movements, wall balls and pull-ups. This one's gonna feel more like a Fran workout where we're going at a high intensity pace. We're gonna feel kind of that, um, that, that, like that burn in our lungs or that kind of blood, uh, like we're gonna taste blood a little bit as we do it. Uh, that's kind of typical when you guys do that workout called Fran or when you're going at a high intensity pace, you're gonna feel that. So um, don't actually, uh, try to cough up blood or anything like that in this workout. Um, obviously, we're trying to just focus on a high intensity pace today um, for all five rounds. So this should have said five rounds. I'm just gonna write it in there. Five rounds. Um, I want you to keep the wall balls unbroken. Ideally, the pull-ups unbroken too. If not, break it up into two sets. Uh, I want you to be moving quickly. You only have 12 minutes in this one, guys. So about two minutes and 15 seconds or two minutes and 20 seconds per round at most to get this done uh, within the time gaps. So you gotta be hustling in this one to get it done. And if you feel like you've been exhausted right after the workout, you need to just lay down after this one, you've done this one right. If you're walking this off like nothing happened, you probably didn't go uh, fast enough in this workout. So uh, wall balls are broken, pull-ups, ideally I'm broken or into two sets. You should be finishing around that 10 to 11 minute mark. Extras, lower body work, we're doing 10 and 10 Cossack squats and then 10 and 10 single legged glute bridges, working on that groin and abductor and then also working on hamstring and glute activation with the single legged glute bridge. If you're looking to um, fix some imbalances in your lower body, this is a great way to do it since we're working on unilateral work instead of uh, working just on both legs at the same time. Hope you guys enjoyed today's workout um, and you work towards your kipping pull-up. Uh, we'll see you guys on Friday for the next workout.